So year one of BF5 is finally over, and in that time we've been given a total of 14 weapons for the Assault class, all of which are pretty good or at the very least decent. But obviously not all guns are created equal. So guys, this is Billy Eat World again, and here's every Assault weapon currently in Battlefield 5, ranked from worst to best. Number 14, the Ribby Rolls, which unfortunately is at the bottom of this list because it's an assault rifle with an integrated bipod designed for longer range gunfights. And look, that sounds good, right? And it's got almost no recoil, which makes it a good choice for new players. But with only a 539 RPM rate of fire, you'll just get chewed up in CQB. And it's also still not as good as a semi-auto at long range either. Number 13, the Selb Slaughter M1916, one of my favorite semi-auto rifles from Battlefield 1, which unfortunately isn't that great in Battlefield 5. It's a three-shot kill at all ranges, which is pretty good, and with 26 rounds in the mag, it's got the potential to wipe out entire squads. The only problem is it fires so slowly, you'll have a hard time not getting killed by that first guy that you come up against. Number 12, the Carabin 1938, which is another three-shot Max SLR that fortunately fires a little bit faster, making it reasonably competitive at most ranges. But the only issue is it's only got 10 rounds in the mag, and it also has no detachable mags option. So yes, it is effective at what it does, but as you'll realize later, there's just other guns that do what it does a little bit better. Number 11, the Gewehr 1-5, which is probably the first gun on this list that I think is really worth using, especially when you need a gun that's good in CQB that can still get the occasional mid-range kill. It's not better than a normal SLR or an assault rifle, it's an average gun somewhere in between the two, with a good rate of fire, a decent detachable 31 round magazine, and a 3-5 to five shot max damage model. Number 10, the AGM-42, which is kind of an interesting SLR in that it fires really fast, has basically no recoil, and is a four-shot kill max at all ranges, which is honestly the kind of stats that could make it overpowered, except for the fact it's only got a 10-round mag, meaning it's a one-kill wonder, and therefore will get you killed, reloading on average more than other options. Number nine, the M1907, the fastest firing assault rifle in the game, which honestly could be higher on this list if it just had more than a 21 round capacity. And as you can see, it'll completely shred people in close quarters. The only catch is you run out of bullets very quickly. And the thing is, there's just a lot of SMGs that can do this as well or even better. Number eight, the Garand, which like the AG is another mid-range SLR with basically no recoil and a decent rate of fire. The big difference is it's actually capable of a three shot kill. It's still a four shot kill at longer ranges, which you can upgrade to a three shot kill at the expense of some RPM. But the big reason this gun isn't higher on this list is because with only an eight round magazine, it's even worse than the AG at getting you killed on the reload. Number seven, the M1A1 Carbine, which when the game first came out was one of the guns people raved on about for the first few weeks, calling it the best gun in the game. And look, I don't really agree with that. Sure, it's a good gun. It's a super fast firing SLR with almost no recoil and a big capacity. It's just not statistically outstanding. So in other words, good for new players, but skilled players might want to look elsewhere. Number six, the STG-44, another assault rifle that people really seem to love that with only a 600 RPM rate of fire, statistically just isn't that impressive. But I think that's probably why people like it. It's comfortable, it's dependable, and it's easy to use. And most importantly, it's so iconic. Number five, the Mass 44, another similar gun to the Garand and the AG, except this time it actually does have a detachable 10 round magazine standard. And not just that, but it's also got the Garand's higher three to four shot kill max damage model, making it an ideal gun for close to mid range gunfights. The only issue is that the rest of this gun stats are spec'd out to make it better at longer range. 
Number four, the Gewehr 43, which is almost exactly the same stats as the Carabin we already talked about, but the reason it's higher on this list is obviously because it's just a little bit better. It's got the same three shot kill max and the same 10 round capacity, but the big difference is it's actually got a detachable mags option, which is a huge deal when you're dealing with multiple enemies. Number three, the Turner SMLE, probably my personal favorite gun in the game, which just like the Garand and the Mass 44, fit into that three to four shot kill max SLR category. And look, it's not as good as those guns in some areas, but the main difference is that it's got a 20 round extended mags option, which combined with its insanely good time to kill, makes it a squad killer out to fairly decent ranges. Number two, the Breda PG, which honestly shouldn't be so high on this list because when you use it as intended in its burst fire mode, it's really not that great at all. But the thing is, in semi-auto mode, it's actually kind of broken. It's almost across the board better than the M1 carbine. It shreds people in CQB and it's got laser beam accuracy out to longer ranges as well. But finally, coming in at number one, the Sturmgewehr 1-5, which doesn't make the top of this list because it's the fastest gun in the game or because it does the most damage, it's because it's the best all-round gun in the game. It's got a better than average 670 RPM rate of fire, a decent 31 round capacity and a spec tree that makes it adaptable for most situations. So in other words, it's not outstanding, but when you average it out, it'll win the majority of your gunfights. But anyway, guys, that just about wraps up this quick video. So as always, make sure you let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And look, just remember that obviously this list is my opinion. So if you've got a different list, that's completely fine. Let me know what you think down below because I'd love to take a look. As always, though, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And please feel free to check out the links in the description if you want to see any more of these videos. And also, don't forget, you can find my Twitter and Discord links down there as well if you want to keep in touch. And as always, until next time, see you later and have a good one.